What's going on? In today's video, I'm going to go over the do's and the don'ts if you want to crush your wads and hit PRs at the gym. Now, I know a lot of you are trying to improve your gymnastic skills and get stronger with some of those movements, as well as PR your deadlift, PR your squat, PR your front squat, PR your power clean, your squat clean, your snatch. This is something that a lot of us are at a plateau with. And nutrition, along with a lot of other variables, can make a huge huge difference. So in this video, I'll go over the do's and the don'ts of what you can be doing to start hitting PRs again and get ready for the open that'll be right around the corner after the new year. So first thing, do progressive overload. Don't do random training. So first, I want to explain why random training is not going to help you hit PRs. And then I want to go over why progressive overload and what progressive overload is will help you hit PRs. So why not do random training? Random training allows for us to get a wide variety of exercises in which is part of the reason we like doing wads in our community random training usually equals random results random results is not going to allow us to hit more prs now this may be very beneficial when you start out as a beginner however as you get more advanced and you've reached top level capabilities and you can only get a little bit better every single week month or year you need to be doing progressive overload random training is not going to get you to top levels of strength so what is progressive overload? Progressive overload is like leveling up in a video game, you know, like Mario going to different levels. That's kind of how it is. Instead, you're doing this with your strength training and your workouts. So how do we incorporate progressive overload appropriately? Well, there are a few different ways to do it. First thing you can do is week to week, you can incorporate heavier weights. So let's say you're doing back squat at 135. The following week, you could do back squats at 145. The other way to do this is more reps at the same weight. So you do eight reps at 135, and the next week you do 10 reps at 135. You can also increase the number of sets. So let's say you do three sets at 135 week one, and week two you do five sets or four sets. All of those are ways to incorporate progressive overload. Other ways is to increase your range of motion. Increasing range of motion activates more muscle groups, which helps with hypertrophy and building strength so you can hit more people. PRs. And lastly, you can also incorporate higher intensity levels in your wads or incorporate supersets or drop sets. Drop sets is where you take a specific weight like 135 and you immediately drop down to 65 and rep out the remaining reps. It burns, it hurts, it cranks up the intensity and constitutes progressive overload. So going harder in Metcons each week or doing this with weights as described with sets, with reps, with the total number of weight you put on the bar is all progressive overload. So do this consistently with all the exercises that you're trying to get stronger in if you want to hit PRs. Next, we do want to eat more protein. We don't want to limit carbs. Protein is literally what our muscles are made up of. A collection of amino acids, tertiary structures, proteins. So when we eat protein, we activate mTOR and we also activate protein muscle synthesis. Activating these things allows for us to Number one, recover our muscle and muscle tissue. And two, build more muscle over time. When we build more muscle and we put more weight on the bar, that's how we get stronger. So protein is going to help with that. Now, why not limit carbs? If you're doing watts and you're doing them consistently every single week, you're gonna need carbs. It is the primary training fuel source to be intentional and keep your workouts intense. If we're not keeping the intensity in our workouts, we're not gonna get faster, we're not gonna get better, we're not gonna get stronger. And limiting carbs is not gonna allow for you to improve. So do not limit carbs, but do incorporate more protein. Next, don't intermittent fast into a wad. Do eat more consistently throughout the day. So this is actually very important. Fasting going into a wad. This is especially important for those of you doing my 5 a.m., 6 a.m. wads in the morning headed to your box. Eating something is going to be important, especially when it comes to strength training. Why? We need to top off those glycogen stores, get a little bit of that recovery going before the wad starts and before our strength session starts, right? Otherwise, we're going to feel weak. We're going to feel depleted and this is not going to be good for hitting PRs and puts us at risk for injury, which we all know is not good. We've been there before. So 
have something small, a Greek yogurt and banana. Drink your protein shake on the way, right? Then have another protein shake after. Incorporate something that allows for you to get just something in your stomach to actually start getting things going. Now, if you're one of those people that can't eat it all in the morning, consider intro workout carbs. DM me the word wide carbs on Instagram if you want a free guide that tells you the exact carb breakdown that you need pre, intra, and post workout. So you definitely want to incorporate more meals throughout the day and eat before your workout. Intermittent fasting is only going to leave you depleted during your wads and binge eating at night, which is not going to be good if we want long-term sustainable gains. Next, don't take BCAAs, do take creatine. Now this one is very important, right? So when it comes to supplements, on one hand, you have BCAAs, which are branched chain amino acids, right? Well, Justin, you just said that branched chain amino acids make up protein and protein's important. So what are you talking about? Branched chain amino acids, acids are obviously made up and assimilated into protein structures. However, there are more than three essential amino acids and BCAAs supplements only have three of them. We need all of the essential amino acids to grow muscle tissue and repair muscle tissue. It's kind of like trying to put together a car with only some of the parts. It's really not going to work well. So BCAAs are essentially useless. Eating more protein throughout the day is a good thing, especially complete sources of protein like steak, egg, Eggs, other meat, seafood, you get the idea. So incorporate more of these proteins if you want to build muscle and get stronger and stay away from BCAAs, basically cat pee, to be honest. Next, creatine. So why take creatine? Creatine is the most important performance supplement out there, arguably the supplement that will get you the strongest. And taking three to five grams daily so that it gets and saturates the muscle is going to be a quick, fast acting source for you to start hitting PRs. The way creatine works, it converts ADP into ATP in the three to five second range, which max ranges in time frames. So that's how creatine is so beneficial. So incorporating creatine can help push us longer at the end ranges of our wads and put more weight on the bar. Incorporating creatine is very important. And if you're not doing this, you're making a huge mistake. So don't take BCAAs, do take creatine if you're looking to hit PRs. Next, do have intro workout carbs. Don't eat fat post-workout. This is an important one. So eating intro workout carbs allows us to keep pushing through our wads. It gives us that extra brain energy and stamina to keep going. Eating fat post-workout is not really ideal, but why? Fat is also something that our body needs to regulate hormone levels, keep our central nervous system going, but fats digest really slow. And post-workout, we actually want things to digest and absorb very quickly. Helps us recover quicker, which is a good thing. So incorporate fats, but incorporate them away from the time that you work out, not pre-intro or post-workout. Instead, protein and carbs. So do have intra-workout carbs, don't eat fat post-workout. Next, do sleep more, don't cold plunge or sauna. This is an important one. I see so many people cold plunging in sauna and although that can help with recovery to some degree, it's not really gonna benefit you if you're not doing the other things appropriately. That includes sleeping and getting seven plus, eight plus hours of sleep every single night depending on how much you train. Women typically need more sleep, so keep that in mind. Sleeping is our main recovery source and is our main recovery tool. That allows for us to hit our workouts each day harder and harder, build more muscle, hit PRs, and stay consistent. Sauna and cold plunge, do it if you're doing the basics. Other than that, it's not really providing all the recovery benefits that you think it is. So do sleep more. That's going to be priority number one. Next, do eat at a calorie maintenance or surplus. Don't be in a calorie deficit. Now, yes, you can get stronger if you're also losing body fat. We do it with our clients all the time. However, for people that are more advanced and really at a plateau or in quicksand when it comes to hitting PRs, they're going to need to be at a surplus or at least at maintenance to be able to build more muscle and to be able to hit PRs and get stronger. Now, if you're a beginner, you can get away with being in a deficit and losing some fat while also getting stronger at the same time, especially if you really kick things up a notch and you go from training once a day to hitting more strength training and getting in your protein quantities and focusing on nutrition. But for advanced people, People, keep in mind you're going to need to be at maintenance at a minimum if you want to hit PRs and get stronger. And this is 
something we do with all the recreational athletes that we work with that do four to five watts per week or those higher level games athletes. It just depends on your goals. So do's and don'ts. If you wanna build muscle and hit PRs, I'm trying to do more videos of the do's and don'ts. I'm trying to do more videos of ranking different supplements and ranking different carbs and ranking different things so that you guys can prioritize your nutrition better. Not as many people that watch these videos actually subscribe. I think 70% of you are so watch but aren't subscribed to the channel. So if you like this video, share it with a friend, click that subscribe button so you can get notified the next time I'm coming out with videos like this, which for you guys is entirely for free. Now, if you're ready to stop the excuses, you want to lose body fat, build muscle and crush your wads without ever tracking macros ever again, and you're doing four to five watts per week and want to start looking like it, there is a link below. We have a special Black Friday promotion that we're offering through the whole month of November. So take advantage, click the link, you can book a call with me. We're just gonna talk about your goals and make sure that I understand what problems we're solving and if we can help you. Go ahead, click the link if you're interested and I'll talk to you guys on the next video. Peace out.